We're back discussing the pros and cons of the Federal Equal Rights Amendment with proponent Betty Friedan and opponent Phyllis Schlafly. We had discussed the draft, we've discussed support, and of course we've only scanned the surface, and unfortunately because of the short amount of time that we have, I want to touch on a couple of other things. We want to talk about co-ed bathrooms and, and single-sex schools, which Phyllis, you feel, will... Well, demolished. under the present federal law, the uh, admissions to single-sex colleges are uh, exempted from the, the fundamental federal law against sex discrimination. So we have some schools that have remained all women, like Smith or Wellesley or Bryn Mawr. Now, that would become illegal under the Equal Rights Amendment because they discriminate, by definition, on the basis of sex, and you can have no exceptions in ERA. Now, I don't know why anybody wants to take away from women your right to choose a single-sex school if that is your choice. But I think this is the uh, psychology of compulsion and the intolerance of those who are pushing for a gender-free society which doesn't recognize any difference uh, or any separation of treatment between men and women anytime, anywhere. What about the schools that exclude women? Well, I think you have your right. You have your choice. Ninety-five percent of our people prefer co-ed schools, but why stamp out the right of the minority that wants to choose a single-sex school? Betty, you have any comment? Well, I think that the basic thrust is that the uh, quotas um, and the outright barring of, of, of women to law school to... Uh, Name one law school that bars women. Until recently... Name one law school that bars women. Until recently. Harvard Law School barred women until, fa you know, fairly recently. Name one that today bars and women. And now... You know it's illegal and a violation Now it's of illegal, law. but I wanted to say that the thrust of the, um, as I've said, we have a new law uh, barring sex discrimination in education, and it, it should, if it is enforced right, it should bar not only the quotas uh, uh, and outright, uh, denial of, of access to higher education uh, on the part of women or to uh, tracking that keeps women in high schools out of the best uh, uh, education. But it, it also uh, should bar those indirect quotas which make women n have to have higher um, grades than mm -hmm. men to get into the same school and so on. But we already know that well, name one that law isn't being enforced. In other words, in uh, the name that one law school where women be, have to get higher grades to get into school. Oh, this is this is name uh, one. Th this is true in, name in one. universities. I can name it. Uh, I can name well, just 30, name 40, 40, 50. Don't name thirty. Just name one. What? One Why school where women wrong? have to get higher grades to get into school. Uh, uh, I would have suggested the viewers to tell Mrs. Shoffley uh, uh, the can't situation name one. of the. I can name uh, any number of them, so I'm not going to name. Well, uh, okay. One. The upshot of what you said is that Smith and Wellesley would be uh, forbidden to maintain themselves as all women's schools and would be required to go co-ed without any quota. Now, why do you want to stamp out their right? <laughs> In every area, this is a this is a denial of freedom of choice. But are you saying, Phyllis, that there is no longer a quota for women, that women no longer have to work twice as hard in schools where they are co-ed? That's such correct. As oh, sure, that's correct. I'm how, can, how, how do we know this? Well, I'm in, I'm in a good law school now, and they have half women. Yeah, okay for you, but not for the ones coming after you, okay? And that's what I can't stand, the hypocrisy no of hypocrisy. someone who takes advantage of, of, of rights and opportunities and knows and is enjoying equality and then says, and Look, then I was uses equality. the very advantages I was, to I got argue a degree from Harvard that, 25 but, years ago. But, I was in equality with the men now. This is nothing new. Yeah, right.